in the community and everyone in the community is like, yeah, we're all going to make it together. And I look at these communities, I'm like, no, those are your competitors. And that, guys, is one of the reasons why I am taking a break from crypto for now. What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Baking Analyst channel. And today we're going to be talking about something slightly different. We're actually going to be reacting to Andrew Tate's advice on crypto and why I'm going to be taking a bit of a break on crypto on this channel. Now, this does not, however, mean that now is not a good time to accumulate, quite the contrary. But there are certain things that we do need to understand when looking at the markets as well as making content as a YouTuber. So first of all, we'll be reacting to the advice. And second of all, looking at why this made me take a break. And finally, we'll be looking at what other opportunities are out there if we are going to be moving away so you know what to look forward to. So with that out of the way, let's jump right into today's video. So let's have a look at this interview over here. This one was by Vibes, 1.3 million views and five months ago. And there's the section where Andrew talks about his opinion on crypto. So let's have a listen. Yeah, a lot of people don't understand this. And it's actually very funny when people launch these crypto, they get these telegrams and they call these, they get these community. And you go in the community and everyone in the community is like, yeah, we're all going to make it together and i look at these communities i'm like no those are your competitors those people are who's gonna buy it when you sell it for more than you bought it for now this is one of the reasons why i stopped covering individual projects on this channel and with the market performing the way it is and yields dropping across the board i literally only have one farm that is paying out those kind of decent aprs that are worth talking about that is none other than el dorado finance but the problem with having only one farm that's paying out such a high rate is that it would be remiss to keep talking about one project just pushing one project and building this whole community around just one ecosystem or just one project and that is not really the ethos of the channel and this channel was of course started to educate people on the best alpha opportunities out there and at the point of creation of this channel it was things like yield farming however this opportunity is relatively more limited today so let's continue with the next part you're all against each other so they try yep. this community crap so the person at the top can just dump on them yeah about crypto is player versus player Bye. Yep, so community is another thing that they like to pull out. I personally got scammed about $10,000 when farming in this farm called Kronos Dow. And, you know, it's, while everyone was getting scammed, people were still posting these strong communities. To, actually, let me show you. Even after everyone had clearly been scammed, like in June 2022, there were still people going around giving like thumbs up, fire emojis, and all of this kind of nonsense. Obviously, after this, the so-called team that were exploited ran away. They didn't do anything about it. And in their Telegram chat, they still had these people posting like strong communities stickers um, so that's all bullshit so on this point i do agree right there community is fickle you know when they're in a bull market people feel good everyone is generally in a good mood when things start to go south however people all become what they are player versus player just don't think of it as a community it is not everyone is here to make money for themselves the only reason i can sell it for ten dollars is because someone else buys it for ten yeah. it can't go up forever the guy who buys it at ten is going to lose yeah. eventually so if i launch a crypto coin i have to understand that a percentage of the people who buy it a percentage of my fans are going to lose money yeah. in my name I don't like the idea of people who Right, so what he's talking about here is the very concept of liquidity. You're only able to sell anything for a price that the market offers. And the market is, of course, made up of other people. And yeah, you might think that this sounds like describing a Ponzi scheme. However, everything in the world is like this. So you have seen things like housing prices in the UK, where I'm currently based. That has been falling across the board in 2023 due to the higher interest rates and higher mortgage payments as a result driving down demand for a particular asset. And because people can no longer leverage as much as they used to before, well, it is only natural that if you can't sell even a house, for say 300,000 pounds or whatever, that house will therefore be worth less. Now that is aside from the argument of what utility all of this stuff has. Obviously, if you buy a house, you get a shelter. If you buy crypto, you could get shelter as well, maybe in the metaverse. But as far as I'm concerned, we do not live in the metaverse. So there's that if you want to argue that, fine. But everything else in terms of other assets, this is not just a crypto thing. So those have been the two parts. First of all, the issue of the whole wag me narrative and the idea that I don't want to focus a lot of this content. So now let's talk a bit about why these two points that were brought up earlier made me think to take a break from crypto, at least for now. Now, this simply means taking a break from crypto specific content, such as individual projects. I'm still accumulating a background because by the way, the opposite of hype is not anger or disappointment or despair. It is apathy. And now that there is apathy in the markets, now is a good time to start accumulating what you want to accumulate. Now, first of all, the reason is that the market market is just not performing very well. I started this channel with the objective of bringing alpha opportunities or the best ways to make money.
money in an unconventional way to all of you guys. So at the point in time when I started this channel, that was in July 2021, yield farming was one good way to do it. We're seeing like 400% yearly returns. What's not to like? Everyone can make $100 a day, $200 a day. But nowadays, what we do see is that this is just simply not the case. With interest rates at 4.57% on money market, my personal bank account is paying like 2.5% interest on stable, I mean fiat. And on the other hand, you have centralized exchanges paying out similar amounts on stable coins. Uh, players like crypto.com, they're just slashing your cards and making making them worthless. And looking at these yields on stable coins, we're just seeing things like 10%, 13%, 15% on the high liquidity pools. So could this still be worth it? Maybe if you had a lot of money, probably a six figure sum to put in this, the way to make $100 a day from this would just beggar belief. It'll just take like $300,000 put into one of these pools. So that might be worth it for some of you, but is a 12-ish percent risk premium really worth it for you? Well, that is up to you to decide. I personally still have some of my stable coins on these farms. As I mentioned, this moving away from crypto only applies to things like content creation on this channel. We do, of course, work with another channel that you might have seen about things like airdrops and stuff like that. Ultimately, I started this channel with the intention of documenting ways to generate wealth in an unconventional manner and share this journey with you guys. So where does that leave us? So to be honest, while DeFi was something that really generated quite a bit of profit in the past year and the past bull cycle, right now it seems like the main play where value is going to be generated is things like AI. You have things like AI generated content, AI generated images. You have things like AI generated shorts, you know, those shorts that you're seeing on this channel, some of them are AI assisted and things like that. You know, we can really practice this and turn them into viable products. So you can probably expect us to be covering things like ways in which you use AI to generate viable products. And the goal of it is so that you can actually generate some sort of sustainable income from all of these tips and tricks while still staying exposed to the latest crypto trends. Of course, we'll be back once the market is around. Of course, if you came around specifically for the crypto content, appreciate you guys. We will still be releasing shorter form of videos in perhaps the form of shorts and other means. So all in all, that's been a brief reaction to Andrew Tate and his thoughts on crypto. Overall, I would say that it is a fair assessment, but that is something that not just applies to crypto. Well, maybe the community thing is kind of crypto specific, but apart from that, it is really nothing special in the world of finance. This place is player versus player. And in order to win, sometimes we have to move on to other opportunities. So overall, does this mean I'm stepping away from crypto entirely? Absolutely not. As you all know, I do very much work in crypto. You can see there's another channel with my my face on it that has way more subscribers actually right now and we do things like airdrops and stuff like that but in terms of this channel we will mainly be focusing on wealth generating opportunities from latest trends as well as looking at opportunities in crypto as they actually arise if any content that you would like to see or any ideas that you like covered leave a comment down below and if you want to check out one of the ways that i was talking about alternative wealth creation methods you're going to want to check out this video over here with all that being said thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one